Hi, my name's Eben Upton and I'm one of the founders of Raspberry Pi. 2021's been, it's been a super exciting year for us actually in a lot of ways. Um, we've had an absolutely storming first three months for sales of the main Raspberry Pi product. Um, but I guess for me, the main reason why 2021 has been exciting is this thing. Now, this is Raspberry Pi Pico. We launched this back in January and it's an interesting product, I guess, in a couple of ways. The first way is that this is our first Raspberry Pi product that isn't a Unix computer. Now, all of the Raspberry Pis we've launched from Raspberry Pi 1 back in 2012, all the way through to Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 400, they're all Linux boxes. They're all general purpose PCs, and they all run a general purpose PC operating system. And people have found ways to do an enormous range of exciting projects with Raspberry Pi. Um, this one's a little bit different, though, because this doesn't run Linux. This is a microcontroller board. So when you run your software on a Raspberry Pi Pico, you're running it on the bare metal. You're running it down at the lowest possible level, right up against the silicon. Uh, and that's true if you're programming in uh, C. And it's also true if you're programming in MicroPython, which is our high-level language that we promote with, uh, with Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, so that's a bit of a difference. And this really, for us at Raspberry Pi, represents us, I guess, entering an entire new market. This is an entire new market. It's an adjacent market. It's next to the market that we're used to. But it is nonetheless kind of a new space for us to move into. And it's always fun to do new things. So that's one reason. I guess the other thing that's exciting about this board is it has two Raspberry Pi logos on it. It has a Raspberry Pi logo here at the bottom of the board, but also you'll see that there is a Raspberry Pi logo on the chip itself. This is the first product that we've made ever at Raspberry Pi that uses Raspberry Silicon, silicon designed in-house here at Raspberry Pi. Now, uh, the Raspberry Pi RP2040 silicon that we use in Raspberry Pi Pico uh, is a dual-core microcontroller. It has a pair of ARM Cortex-M0 Plus processors running at 133 megahertz, so it's a pretty fast uh, uh, little, little microcontroller. Uh, it has 264 kilobytes of RAM. Uh, it was very important to us when we were designing the system because we wanted people... We know that if you feel under pressure for memory, you spend a lot of time as a programmer just thinking about how to save memory. You're not thinking about how to solve the problem that you have in mind. You're just constantly thinking, how do I eke out another byte? How do I eke out another kilobyte? So we put a good amount of memory in there. Put a pretty rich mix of peripherals. So we put um, hardware, a pair of hardware UARTs, a pair of hardware SPI blocks, a pair of hardware I2C blocks. So we put some hardware in there. Um, we actually have USB 1 in there. And that's nice because it gives you a lot of opportunities to go talk to other peripherals. You can act as a host, go talk to peripherals, or you can act as a device. So you can plug your Raspberry Pi Pico into your PC and have it pretend to be a keyboard. Or, interestingly, you can plug your Raspberry Pi Pico into the PC, have it appear as a mass storage device if you hold down this little boot cell button, and then drag your program onto it. So it gives you a very simple way when you're just getting started with your Pico. It gives a very simple way of getting software onto the Pico. So USB has been great for that. But alongside all of that hard peripheral world, we've also added what we call a soft peripheral world. We created a system we call PIO, Programmable I.O., uh, which allows you to design, define your own uh, peripherals in a kind of software, in a kind of assembly language, upload them into this PIO peripheral, and then have, uh, have the PIO sit between your processors, which are creating and consuming data, and the outside world. And it will, the PIO will go and waggle pins for you, or will go and sense the state of pins that are coming in from outside. Um, I think the PIO is probably the thing that really differentiates this chip. And it's been the source of lots of the fun examples uh, that people have, uh, the fun things that people have been able to do with Raspberry Pi Pico since it launched. Um, people have been doing some amazing things. We've sold about half a million of these so far. We've actually got another 800,000 on backlog. So we've kind of, kind of taken orders for you know, getting on for one and a half million. Um, Raspberry Pi Pico, so there's a little bit of a queue uh, to get them. But even now, people have done really amazing stuff. You know, we've seen people um, uh, creating interesting USB devices with them, people building keyboards with them. It's like, it's, it's, you know, an interesting example of, uh, of um, Raspberry Pi Pico as a USB device. People have used them for building keyboards. People have used them for emulating old games consoles. They've used them as audio synthesizers. So they really are getting out there. And just as people have done with the big Raspberry Pi, people have been doing interesting things with Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, so we're super excited to see what people are going to do with it over the next year as they come into ready availability. Um, well, 2021's been great. 
But obviously there are ways that it hasn't been great. Um, and one of them is, of course, that we can't travel. So we're here in the UK, and it's, it's a lovely spring day here in the UK. Um, but we really wish we'd had an opportunity to be with you guys uh, in Japan. We have an enormous number of friends uh, in Japan. It's been a very long time since, uh, certainly since Liz and I, we went through a phase of traveling to Japan a lot. It's been a long time since we've had a chance uh, to come out and see our friends. Um, and we do hope that later in the year, uh, when restrictions ease a little bit, maybe we'll get a chance to come out uh, and see you guys in the autumn. So until then, we hope you have a lot of fun with your Raspberry Pi Pico. Thank you.